Jackson County. Means we're close to Jackson City, right? Should be more than a few miles. You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling. Man, I am still in shock at what just happened with Henry and Sam. I did not see that coming. I thought we were going to have a little, little crew to roll over to the western part of the United States with. Instead, Sam got bitten and... You know, I don't think Henry could handle seeing his little brother infected like that. You know, the only person left in the world that he actually cared about. And just shot himself. You just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. What happened between you two? What do you mean? We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Oh, here we go. What was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, with or without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Is that comic of hers? This scenery is beautiful right now. Just the water and all the greenery and mountains in the background. I really like it. You know, we had we were in Boston and we were in Pittsburgh. We were in pretty big cities, and then now you know we're just out in the out in the boonies, kind of. I'm really liking this change of scenery. All right, there's a hydroelectric power plant. It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? A dam could be a great place to start a group. I mean, you know, you're going to have security. You know, they have fences around dams so people don't get into them and stuff like... Hold up. What ammo was that? that? That looked like a handgun with a scope on it. Maybe that's a sign we're going to get a new gun coming up. Be happy with that. We definitely need to be on guard, though, I feel like, because this hydroelectric dam is a nice little place to set up shop. If you know, if you had an electrician in your group, a mechanic, maybe somebody that was familiar with the system, you know, they could possibly, you know, generate power from it. And then when it comes to survival, I mean, dude, electricity would be huge. And obviously, if you have electricity, you're going to want to protect that. So maybe we run into some hunters. I mean, man, I hope not. I need a break from hunters. Maybe this whole dam is a bunch of clickers and bloaters and runners. I don't know, though. I guess we'll find out. That gets us halfway. If we get the other one up, we'll make it across. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to get wet. I don't see a pallet anywhere. I guess it's underwater. Let's take a look around. I mean, yeah, dude, this dam's got a bunch of high points. You got visibility. Oh, there's the pallet right there. We didn't have to really look that hard. It's in the shack or whatever this is. What is going on? I am slamming triangle right now. Nothing is happening. I'm running out of breath. This game is glitching right now. It is refusing to let me get this pallet. I'm slamming triangle. Finally. All right, I need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet. Damn. Ellie's a little hostile right now. Look at that nice view. We got the mountain in the background. That's cool, man. I like this change of scenery. I like how they did this. Totally different. Still don't know how the hell we got all the way over here. We, obviously, we walked. But I'm trying to figure out what happened. What happened in the Midwestern part of the United States? You know, that had to have been filled with a bunch of other groups. Maybe a bunch of hunters. You know, a bunch of infected, obviously. I want to know what went on. They're doing these nice little 
fast forward routines with the 20 years later at the beginning of the game. Go and give it a spin. We jump from Pittsburgh to Wyoming. It's like 2,000 miles. Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. Teamwork. Yeah. Yeah. Ellie's a clown with that <laughs> high five. That was funny. It looks like somebody had a little camp set up here. They had a little fire pit right there. All right, well, we're full up, man. We got some a nice set of supplies. I'd like to get some more shotgun ammo. We're still low on that. That's too small of a grave. Oh, I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Ellie. What? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just... That's enough. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. That grave could be a sign that people are close. It's kind of a random place to bury somebody if, you know, it's probably the people that made camp right here. So maybe they headed in the dam to set up shop or maybe they headed down the river. I'm not sure. They're probably friendly though because that was obviously a kid in the grave and we know hunters, they don't mess with kids. Oh, I'm so I know, I am too. All right, really Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Nice, we got some pills. Always happy to pick up some pills. Want to be able to upgrade everything. I hope, to, I mean, obviously I think they probably supply us with enough pills throughout the entire game to upgrade all those attributes. Oh, dude, there's the gun right here. The gun with the scope. Ammo we picked up in that shiv door. What is this? It's a handgun. El Diablo. This thing's sick. This thing's going to be super powerful. I bet it's going to be exactly like those guns from Uncharted. You know those guns that the enemies would have? You'd get shot like twice and be dead. So I'm excited to try this gun out next chance we get. El Diablo. What is Ellie doing? She's just staring at that fence, huh? All right, Ellie. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Oh, starving. They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get it running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? 
Yeah, of course. He likes when you pet his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, look, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including me. Joel? Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Come on. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone, most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. Man, look at me and Sarah. Got a little Leonel messy. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I'm not really surprised that Joel didn't take that photo. I think he's, you know, put his past in the past and has buried it deep down inside. And I don't think he talks about it to anybody. And losing your little girl like that, you know, that's got to be tough. What is this? We've got a nice little room over here. There might be some supplies. I see some stuff shining. What do we got? we got some parts, I believe. Yeah, nice. Maybe we can get a workbench. Is this a workbench? Nope. Got juked. I thought it was. Man, this is a nice little little gig. We're getting a bunch of pills, parts. I like this. Yeah, let's upgrade this listening mode distance and then eh, weapon sway. Weapon sway or shift master. Yeah, weapon sway. I don't know about that shift master. I'll I'll try and upgrade the shift master next chance I get. I'd rather have a, some better gun accuracy than the shiv thing. I've, I've ran into more problems with shooting than stabbing. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We can get an electrified fence when the plant's up. Hey, you still got to deal with infected, though, right? Well, who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. Very good to have around. These two geniuses are going to bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. I see a workbench lurking over there. We got an upgrade too. Smoke bombs. That might come in handy. If we run into another frickin' Humvee. I guess this is as good a spot as any. 
I upgraded El Diablo, the Shorty, and the Shotgun. To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Sorry. Slowly. All right, that's good. Tommy's here. You good to go. Okay, good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. Two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. <laughs> 